When it's hot outside, the temperature in your car is even hotter. But is the gauge that gives you the temperature actually giving you the correct reading? I feel like that's an overused social media post, right? People always take pictures of their car. Sure. Out, it was 112 <laughs> degrees in my car. <laughs> well, Brandy Smith is going to break down for us just how accurate your car temperature gauge is. So how often does this happen to you? You get in your car, turn it on, and the first thing you notice here on the dashboard is that temperature. Wait, it's how hot? Okay, I'm gonna need to call the expert here. Well, we're already creeping into the 90s, so uh, 90 degrees, really. Hmm, so why the difference? Well, first of all, your car doesn't have a thermometer. It has a thermistor, which measures heat based on electrical current instead of mercury. Yes, science! Where that thing, we'll just call it your carmometer, is located is key. Some are behind the grill, some are right on the windshield. Either way, it's not where it should be for a good reading. Because reading is what? Fundamental! Let's use National Weather Service weather stations as an example. They're at least five feet off the ground, they have to be in shade all the time, and they should be in sand, grass, or dirt. That'll give you an accurate air temperature. So when your car's sitting in the parking lot or cruising down the road on concrete that radiates heat, its reading is technically correct, but that's not what the air temperature is. And now you know. Any now story with RuPaul in it, I'm in. <laughs> <Love> <laughs> Just saying. Reading is <laughs> fundamental. fundamental. <laughs>